Okay, we're here in Capacaccia 2011 in the disco. People are working on projects, and we have here one project, which is the uh, robotic labyrinth game, uh, which uses this hacked up real labyrinth game, the silicon retina, which you can see right here, looking down onto the table. On the table, there's a ball rolling around, and on the side of the table, we've hacked up servos here, which control the knob dummies. On the table, you can see here, uh, there's a little servo arm here controlling one knob, and then over here is another knob. And then these servos go to this little servo board, which goes to USB, just as the retina here goes to USB. And then these both go over here to this laptop. On this laptop here, the, uh, the output data from the retina is processed. Um, for example, you can hear it here, the spikes from the ball. If you, if you just put a, uh, a mark somewhere where the ball is, you can hear occasionally as the ball goes by, there's a spike event. So you have this very sparse stream of data from the retina. Uh, but anyway, you can now use that to track the ball and then control these servos here to try to put the ball where you want it to be. Okay, here the, uh, the labyrinth game is negotiating like a virtual maze uh, because of the problem of these black lines here, these ones. Now you see them? These ones here on the table causing data from the retina that makes it hard to track the ball, uh, which after all is just like a silver ball on a white table. We created a virtual maze here on the computer, and um, the ball is kind of following along these dots. And when it gets to the end here, it shoots to the other side of the table, and then it starts over on that side of the table there. You can see it's not really stable, quite stable enough to negotiate a real maze, but it is following the line here. You see? It's kind of going down, then it goes up this path to the top, and it goes to the right here, and then it shoots up to the upper right corner, then it goes down here. It's around that spot here, comes down, comes to the end, and then it shoots to the beginning again. So it is controlling okay, not perfectly stable, but it's controlling on this virtual table. Not too bad. And now in the next demonstration, I will now pick a point. I will just take over from the maze and just pick a point on the upper right here. And so now it's trying to control the ball here to the upper right of the table. And now I'll pick to the point to the lower left. Then it controls to the lower left. And now I'll go to the lower right. All right, so it tries to control to the lower right, and now to the upper left. See, so it's kind of arced over there, and now back to the lower right. And now I'll hold a spot in the middle of the table. Okay, so that's about the radius. It holds a spot to a radius of maybe three ball diameters right now, which is not really quite stable enough to negotiate a real maze. Even if you can track the ball perfectly with all the, all the distractors here, um, of the black lines of the walls and the, and the maze itself. And now I'll show you the computer display, which you can see here, which shows the tracking of the ball. Um, this green thing, thing here shows where the ball is. It's being tracked. This red thing shows where it's trying to go, or actually this green dot here shows where it's trying to go, so I can move the green dot to where I like. Now it controls the ball over there. Now I'll move it up here. Controls it up here. And the whole thing is controlled by a mole of parameters here um, in this GUI, which, for instance, set the proportional gain, uh, the controller forward um, prediction delay, the derivative gain, etc. There's a bunch of them. These signals over here are kind of interesting. They actually show the real controller PID output. Um, so the different colors here are the, are the PID terms of the controller. And for example, you can see here, because of built-in mismatch on the table, uh, you do need some integral term to cancel out the offset on the table tilt. And that's the blue arrow that builds up for a while, after a while at one point on the table. That concludes this demonstration of the Labyrinth Gate, Capacaccia, 2011. This is Toby Delbrook reporting.